owner who says he was trying to protect his family when he allegedly shot and killed a man outside his house early Sunday morning remains behind bars tonight. 39 year old Chad Copley made his first court appearance this afternoon. He is charged with murder. Andrea Blanford has the details from the Wake County Justice Center. Chad Copley could face the death penalty if convicted of murder. In a 911 call, he seems to say he was only meaning to protect his family and his home. But a neighbor is speaking out tonight, saying what happened should be investigated as a hate crime. Ushered into the courtroom, cuffed and shackled, 39-year-old Chad Copley winks at his wife, family and supporters holding back tears. Mr. Copley. It was just before 1 o'clock Sunday morning here at his North Raleigh home on Single Leaf Lane, where police say he fired a shotgun from inside his garage toward the street, striking and killing 20-year-old Corin Rodney Thomas. Just as that witness called for help, another 911 call appears to come in from Copley. Uh, we have a lot of people outside of our house yelling and shouting profanity. Uh, I yelled at them, please uh, leave the premises. Uh, they were showing a, a firearm, so I, I, I fired a warning shot, and uh, we, we got somebody that, uh, that got hit. The man's body was right in front of the mailbox. I don't think, I don't know how he was a threat from the garage. Jalen Lewis lives two doors down and hosted a party that night where he says Thomas was one of 50 people who showed up. He says he didn't see any of his guests carrying a gun and wasn't aware any were causing problems. A very different account than what we hear in this 911 call placed just minutes before that fatal shot was fired. Uh, in the week, we've had a bunch of rooms out here waiting. Um, I am off the road and I'm going to have firearms and we're going to screw our neighborhood. If I were you, I We're going to go secure our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? Yeah, very much so. Like, I don't know. That it kind of struck a nerve when, when I heard that one. It's kind of, I don't know, it sounds borderline hate crime. In court, Copley mouths what appears to be I love you as he's escorted back to jail. Now, Copley's being held without bond. He's due back in court at the end of the month. We talked with neighbors who tell us they're shocked something like this would happen where they live. So we checked. Police records show officers were called out to Copley's home four times within the last year. Three of those were on the same day for fraud and a domestic incident. Another time last December for a missing juvenile. Also at the home where the party took place, Raleigh police responded there in March for a vandalism report, which they describe as a domestic dispute. In Raleigh, Andrea Blanford, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.